Hi guys, uh, welcome to today's discussion. We'll be talking on the purpose of network devices. So, um, I, I, I better think we should just go and put it there. So I'm just gonna have to write it here. So it's gonna be, let me just be stylish. Oh, come on. The purpose of network devices. Now, um, what is a network? Okay, so, you have a friend here. Uh, his name is Steve. And he has another friend here who is an accountant called John. And John has a brother here. Why don't you make it a lady? A sister here called Lisa. Okay, so John is an accountant, and I'm gonna try and use a, a different color for that. Uh, let's use. So John is an accountant. Steve is an engineer. Lisa is human resources HR. Now. They all work in a building. And what color do you think we should give to the building? Maybe something close to that. So they work in a building. Something like that. Don't know what sort of building this is, but it's, it's somewhat a building. So Steve who is an engineer, has finished uh, working on a big project, okay? And um, he wants more funding, so he knows that the person to speak to is going to be uh, um, the uh, accountant called John. Now, John has realized that uh, Steve is working so hard and has nobody else to help him and needs... Steve to work with somebody so uh, he could achieve more in a short time than trying to get all the money and still uh, stuck doing very little. So hey child, um, speak to John and then they speak to Steve and they arrange for somebody else to help Steve and his name is Samuel. Okay. So, as you can see here, a network is when devices come together to share resources. Okay, so the same thing, the same thing goes for, and I'm going to clear that board now. Same thing goes for, let me find a good color for this, this time. For your network. So as I said before, it was um, the purpose of network devices. So um, in your office, you'd have a computer. Not just one, maybe you have um, two to four or seven or ten. Let's do three for the purpose of this um, illustration. And you're all connected to a device and I call the name of the device. It's a name you all know uh, if you've begun learning about networks. Um, so let me find a different color for that. Let's do something something better so you've got a switch okay uh, i'm gonna try and do the artwork better so a switch is sketched this way okay now the name of this person is lisa and this is Anne, and this is Nick. 
So that is your local area network. So remember, is Lisa Pan and Nick. Okay. Now this one here is a switch. So let's find a better thing to this one. So that is your switch. Now this segment here, this switch, now it's in a building called building A. And there's another switch here. Okay. And that switch is also connected to a number of devices. Now, this device is not going to look anything like what you've seen in the past. It's going to be a, an attempt of mine to draw something very important called a server. And then we have another device here, and that is going to be perhaps a laptop and another device here and this time let's say it's just another workstation okay now maybe this device has a name called live this device is called And live and and this is live and new. Okay, I'm just thinking of something interesting, but not humorous enough, but you get a drift. So let's select a color that will drive this better home. And I'm going to try and use red again. So L A N again. Now, someone here, uh, let's go here. Lisa wants to get uh, some file on on the server here let me get my pointer uh, so lisa wants to get a file in in section b which i'm going to highlight on the server so let's highlight that now uh, let's do m and let's do blue here okay and Let's do uh, green. So this is B. Now remember that we, we said that network, um, the purpose is for them to share resources. So the workstation is a consumer. The server supplies. Okay. And all these, they may supply or consume. So now, Lisa wants to get information on the server. Now, Lisa here has a map drive to the server called live and um, maybe the file or the folder is called data. Okay, but Lisa wants to get that information from section B. So what do we do? We get this switch here to speak with that switch over there. So then we get a link. Now, do not worry so much about the technical terms for these um, that we can explain in future slides. But we get this switch to speak to that switch. Now, this is switch A. And this is switch B. Okay. 
Now, so Lisa says, oh, hey, server, I want to get to you. Uh, this switch knows where the switch is. So Lisa says, hi, um, could I please make a request to live to get me access to data? And the switch says, okay, what is the IP of live? Okay, the IP is 192.168.14.5. Okay, um, I have its MAC address and it's 8D4C9D3R. So the switch here has a table and the stored information is learned across this wire, store that information from its neighbor for live. And so now it's able to still tell this guy up here or this lady called Lisa that, hey Lisa, Lisa, I do know how to get you uh, all the way from here go across to Y, go to area B, and get to the server. And get the server to pass the live data, which is the one here, all the way down, back to Lisa. So this is the concept again. And we're going to um, write a pen again. Let's use a better color, a color that will make you remember. Every device has a purpose, period. The switch serves its purpose. It takes care of the traffic being forwarded or packets being forwarded or frames being forwarded from one to another or within the same network so the server could speak to new or the server to go all the way there and speak to Anne. so when you ever think of a network what i want you to remember is that every single component or device has a purpose just as you have a mug, and I'm going to try and be as artistic as possible, and you have red vapor. <laughs> What's in there? No one knows. Just as it serves a purpose um, for you to have your coaster, so do you have a saucer? It serves the purpose of keeping you um say from the heat that comes from um the mug a mug has a purpose or a kettle a kettle if i drew a kettle here you would know uh hopefully that's a, a better depiction of a, of a kettle okay everything has a purpose so as an engineer or a future network engineer, identify what this workstation is doing on the network, what the server is doing on the network, and see how am I able to connect this PC to connect to the server so they can happily connect and smile. This is how you have to think. Okay, first and foremost, make sure that you have enabled um, the ability for a device to work with another device by knowing what goes in between one and the other. So the fundamentals again, understand the purpose of each component on the network. Okay, understand what the mug does 
what a kettle does in your home. Understand what is serving as a location for resource. And then networking will become very, very easy. Now, we'll be going through a lot of videos, and I promise to be doing a lot of these uh, to discuss um, the, you know, the role of a network engineer, uh, what you must be doing. Uh, so I hope this has been a blessing for you, and I'd like to thank you for watching. See you soon.